Have you ever wondered how many emotions are out there? Well, a lot. And so in this video, I would like to talk about the basic emotions so that which are really the basic ones that researchers or practitioners are able to classify. Well, you can see them up over here. We have uh, happiness, surprise, fear, sadness, anger, and disgust. Well, and they have even placed them on some sort of continuum from left to the right. So here we have some sort of continuum from the left to the right. So when you are happy, you are on the, on the left end of this continuum, so on the most positive side. And on the other hand, when you are disgust, on, you are on the right end of this continuum and you are on the negative side of it. So you see how it flows. You can be happy, then you're surprised, you have some fear, then you become sad, angry or even disgust. And another thing with this continuum, some of these can be sort of misunderstood or misplaced. So the closer some emotions are, the more likely you are to confuse them. So you might be happy, but you might confuse your mood with being surprised. But when we have two emotions that are very far from each other on this continuum, so for instance, happiness and let's say anger, these two are very far on the continuum and you are very unlikely to, to confuse these two. Now, I would like to play some sort of a game. As you can see on the right side, I have listed very many emotions which we uh, can see or very many effects. Now, I have created this small graph. There are two dimensions. You can see we have a horizontal dimension and then we have a vertical dimension. It's a little bit of math, but I, I hope I can keep it very simple. Now, the horizontal direction is telling us about the positive effect. So here we have high positive effect and on the other hand we have low positive effect. Then the vertical dimension is telling us about the negative effect. So here we have high negative effect and here we have low negative effect. And now, as you can see, we have created some sort of a space where we can place our emotions according to their positive or negative effect. So let's start. We have at first these four. We have nervous, excited, bored and relaxed. And let's try to place them on these spaces. So the most positive effect, the most negative effect, the, mo uh, the lowest positive effect and the lowest negative effect. Let's try to place these four over our ends of our dimensions. So nervous, uh, we have nervous. Where can we place nervous? Well, most likely you are nervous when something has a very high negative effect on you. So let's place nervous over here. Now we continue, excited. When are you excited? Well, when something has a very high positive effect on you. So here we have excited. Now we continue with bored. This is a little bit more tricky, but let's take a look. We have bored and relaxed. Well, researchers have defined that you are bored when something has a low positive effect on you. So it is not negative, but it's also not really positive. So just a very low positive effect. And that's when you are bored. Now we continue. We have a relaxed and we also have a last space here left. So let's place it to low negative effect. So then you are relaxed. Now it becomes more tricky. As you can see, we have some spaces in between these dimensions. And we will try to place the rest of emotions over here or rest of the moods. And as you can see, we have four colors, one, two, three, four. And then we have four spaces over here, one, two, three, four. So two of these moods are going to go to each of these quadrants or the segments of our graph. So let's take a look at first two. We have content and happy. Hmm. So when are you content and happy? Well, definitely when it has a high positive effect on you and then, well, low negative effect because you can't be happy if something has high negative effect on you. So these two are definitely going to be right over here. But let's think about the order. When you are happy, you are most likely having something that has high positive effect on you. So happy is going to be somewhere over 
here and then content is going to be a little bit more down so when something has also a low negative effect on you so we were able to place first two now we have fatigued and calm so when are we calm and when are we fatigued well definitely calm we are when we have no high effect on us so no high negative effect neither high positive effect so these two are definitely going to be placed in this hour segment now let's think about the order of these two how can they be placed well when you have relaxed over here then calm is going to be really close to it so calm will be somewhere over here and then there is the space left for fatigued which will be over here which is just next to board which really makes sense now let's move to the next two we have upset and sad well these two are both very negative moods so of course it's going to be next to the high negative effect and then next to low positive effect so we can move these two uh, we can move these two right over here now let's think about the order of these two we have nervous over here and bored over here well sad is very close to be bored when you are bored and something suddenly starts to have some negative effect on you, you are moving to set. So set is going to be placed right over here. And then we are left with upset, which is quite close to nervous. So we can move it right over here. And we have final two. We have tense and alert. So let me move it. Uh, and now let's think about the order well you are excited and what is close to being excited well being alert when something starts to have negative effect on you you start to be alert so we move this one over here and then tense will be placed over here now we were able to construct our structure of the mood so we can see that something can have a positive or a negative effect and it depends if it has high or low of these effects and so you see our final moods it's nice continuum you can see it over here